So the reason that we settled here in Maine is because we love Maine. We've lived in Maine for 40 years, just as part-time, we're not residents of Maine. And when we had to make a decision on retirement on where we wanted to be, we wanted to be near family. We have a long history with friends in Maine, and we wanted to keep that alive. We didn't want to lose that. But yet we wanted to be in a wilderness area. And what's great about this part of Maine too is you can get in your car or truck and you can ride, ride, ride on dirt roads and just see all the wildlife, which is wonderful. And you don't see a lot of people, not that we don't love people, we do, but it's, it's just a great place to be. So for me, guiding was I wanted to take children, I wanted to take women, I wanted to take inexperienced anglers out on a river, and I wanted to be safe. And Maine has one of the toughest um, tests to become a guide. And I felt like if I could pass the test, then I knew what I was doing. And I could take people fishing and I could do a good job of it. I first got into fishing because my dad was a big fisherman. He liked to trout fish and he liked to bass fish. And when I was a little girl, We'd go out in the boat and we would fish, and I was more interested probably in what I was wearing and other things than the fish, but we would fish for bass and lily pads and collect bugs and frogs, and that's how I started fishing. I think fishing and the experience that it brings to people is they meet really great people, but they get to be outside and they get to be in nature. I think of fishing kind of like yoga to some people or meditation to some people. It's an excuse to travel and to go to some of the most incredible places in the world and to just different culture, different people. It, I don't even know how to explain it. It gets into your soul and, and you just want to keep Looks doing like it. What happens is the fish on the lower river are coming up from um, Rangeley and they're moving up to get more food, but they have to have the river temperature right and the hatches right and the food right. So they're starting, they're starting to move up now. Um, and they'll, the fishing here will get really, really good in the next week or two, or three, we hope. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, if we get some hatches, the water will warm up a little bit, mm -hmm. and the, the big fish will really move up, and you'll get in here some nice fish. You like can, what, what size? I would. You can get some 16, 17, 18. Out of one of the other pools, some people have gotten some 20 inch. Whoa. Yes, <laughs> and then the water gets warm, and when it gets warm, they go back down, or they get into a deep pool, and they just kind of hang out for the summer. So the biggest fish I ever caught here was 25 inches with witnesses who helped measure. And it was just a crazy fluky thing. I wasn't paying any attention. I was sitting down. The fly was just drifting and from nowhere came this big fish. It was pretty exciting. Went way into my backing. I was like, did I catch a bird? Or did I catch some weird creature? And, and it turned out to be a, a big brook trout. It was beautiful. legends and it has to do with fly fishing and there's an incredible history of incredible fly tires and anglers 
that goes back probably about 200 years. And some of them are women. We have Flyrod Crosby, who is very well known. Um, first female guide, first guide in Maine, be it male or female. Um, she's very well known. We have Carrie Stevens, who her flies are known around the world and people collect them. I like to take new anglers out who've never been in waders and have never experienced sitting in a river or standing in a river and being part of it. And I love for them to catch their first fish. And it doesn't matter if it's itsy tiny or if it's huge, they're just excited. And it opens a world that I think for generations to come, the more people that we can get out on a river and to understand the beauty of it, they're going to they're going to save our planet and they're going to save our river